Good afternoon, children. Today we will start with the new lesson, chapter six, the properties of sea water. First of all, let us recall which is the largest water storage of the world. Of course, largest water storage of the world is oceans. Okay. Next question. Why is the sea water salty? Because ocean salt primarily comes from rocks on land. Rainwater that falls on the land is slightly acidic. So it erodes rock. This release iron that are carried away to streams and rivers that eventually feed into the ocean. Many of the dissolved iron are used by organism in the ocean and are removed from the water. So sea water is a salty. Children, in the previous class, you had studied the ocean currents, tides, etc. In this lesson, we will study the major properties of sea water. Okay. First one, temperature. Can you tell? What is the difference in temperature of sea and land? Answer. Land get heated fast and cool fast. When the sunlight is very hot, it get heated very fast. And when the sun set, it gets cool fast. But sea water get heated gradually and cool gradually. Next question. What would be the difference in the temperature of sea water from equatorial region to the polar areas? Of course, in equatorial region, it is very hot. So, usually the sea water here is hot. But in polar areas, it is very cold. Of course, the sea water here is very cold. Now, children, let us come to geographical explanation. Here we are going to study first property of sea water. That is temperature. Okay. Temperature is a major property of sea water. The surface temperature of sea water is not uniform everywhere means not a same everywhere. It depends on different factors like latitude, altitude, altitude means height or a depth. Children, up to 500 meter depth of sea water is called surface sea water. Okay, understood? Surface sea water means up to 500 depth of sea water, it is called surface sea water. But its temperature is not the same everywhere. <clears throat> you know children, temperature decrease, decreases with the increasing latitude. That means as we move away from the equator, we know near the equator it is very hot. As we move from the equator to the poles, the temperature of sea water decreases. The average temperature of sea water near the equator is around <coughs> 25 degree Celsius. At the same time, in the mid latitudes, it is 16 degree Celsius, while it is about 2 degree Celsius near the poles. Okay? Next paragraph. Besides altitude, depth or latitude, some other factors also affect the temperature of water. Let us see what are they. They are cyclones, rainfall, sea waves, ocean currents, salinity of seawater, pollution, conventional current, seasons, etc. These factors also affect the surface temperature. Okay. Ocean currents also have similar effect on temperature of the seawater. In region where cold ocean currents flow, of course, the surface temperature of seawater is less. At the same time, while the region where the warm ocean current moves, the temperature increases. Okay? Children, I hope you understood the topic which I explained today. To, uh, today, what we learned? We learned about one of the major property of sea water okay today we will stop here In the next classes we will continue with the topic okay